my hello to all students this is dr sachin aroda psychiatry faculty <clears throat> here i am with the psychiatry questions discussions of the neat pg paper that was conducted on 11th of august sunday there were two sessions morning and evening i have tried to recall as many questions as i could and i could recall five questions in the morning and six question in the afternoon session related to psychiatry if i miss any question please let me know in comments so that i can discuss that as well if you need any editing in these questions these questions are recalled based on the inputs given by students in telegram group whatsapp group so if there is still any input from your side let me know let's start the discussion question number 1 morning session a 45 year old female has a feeling of nervousness feeling tense having stomach upset with heartburn all these are anxiety symptom nervousness some students said nervousness some said uh, tense upset heartburn dyspepsia and diarrhea since many years many years means uh, the duration is at least more than 6 months an anxiety symptom more than 6 months we are talking about gad generalized anxiety disorder anxiety has physical symptoms like palpitation tremor tachycardia and tingling of extremity is a part of it. anxiety symptom the other symptom here are not neurotic symptom they are psychotic symptom idea of reference is a psychotic symptom people are talking about me he feels hallucination is a psychotic symptom perception without stimulus neologism is also a psychotic symptom yes gad runs in families it is a heritable disorder so the answer of first question is c tingling numbness tingling numbness paresthesias they are a symptom of anxiety all other options are psychotic symptoms next question which of the following drug used in adhd is snri now students were knowing atomoxetine is nri norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor used in adhd but students were not knowing about riboxetine some of the pharmacology books write riboxetine as tca some of them write as snri it is also used in adhd modafinil is a cns stimulant drug it also increases dopamine just like methylphenidate it is also a stimulant drug guanfacine brother of clonidine acts on alpha receptors so all these drugs are used in adhd but riboxetine is s n r i or you can say n r i some books write it as n r i some book write it as s n r i some book write it as t c i but the best answer out of the four is rivoxetine a 32 year old male needs to be dressed in female lingerie and high heels to feel aroused wearing opposite sex clothes if it is for sexual gratification it is transvestic fetishism if it is for identification as opposite sex gender dysphoria has distress with their allotted sex in this question the better answer is transvestic fetishism transvestic fetish is a type of paraphilia where the person wears opposite sex clothes and derives sexual pleasure transvestic fetishism or some people call it as fetishistic transvestism please remember there are two type of transvestism fetishistic transvestism and dual role transvestism dual role transvestism is included under gid gender identity disorder and fetishistic transvestism is included under paraphilia there's a difference paraphilia derives wears opposite sex clothes for sexual arousal and gid wear opposite sex clothes for identification as an opposite sex there's a difference okay fetishistic transvestism and dual role transvestism fourth question which of the following drug is used in opioid maintenance for long term maintenance therapy we use opioid substitution therapy which includes buprenorphine and methadone 
naltrexone is used in relapse prevention. It is the anti craving for opium. Clonidine is used to manage the autonomic symptoms of opioid withdrawal. And disulfiram is an aversive therapy for alcohol. Okay? Answer was buprenorphine. For long term maintenance, we use OST, buprenorphine or methadone. Okay? Clonidine helps in managing withdrawal. Fifth question and the last of the morning session. Chronic alcoholic who has a binge drinking 10 days back. Remember, just like alcohol withdrawal can precipitate one case, binge drinking can also precipitate one case. Although hypoglycemia was mentioned, so you are supposed to give dextrose as well, but we will first give thiamine, a case of Wernick's encephalopathy. In Wernick, we first give thiamine followed by dextrose because thiamine deficiency first needs to be corrected. And if we give dextrose first, it further utilizes thiamine in its metabolism and causes thiamine deficiency. So first one in case give thiamine, then give dextrose. Some student got confused looking at hypoglycemia and marked dextrose. So first thiamine in one case, alcoholic unconscious, think about one case. This was the morning session five questions. Okay, let's talk about the evening session six questions. First one, a 30 year old male is calm and charming in front of a psychiatrist, behaves good with family member, but when he's out, he monks classes, breaks traffic rules, often gets into fights with the friends, involved in police interrogation also. So legal court goes towards antisocial police matters. Yes, antisocial people are also manipulative, so they will behave good with one person and not good. Narcissistic are the people who have self-love. They will not be involved in legal matters. Schizo people are the people who have odd beliefs, magical thinking. And paranoid are the people who are suspicious. This question was doable based on the concept. Legal, court, police, police cases, breaks rules, love to break the rules, involves in fight with the friend, antisocial. It is an adult version of CD, oppositional defined disorder becomes conduct disorder in adolescence and that becomes antisocial in adulthood. Okay. Next question. 25 year old female was referred to a psychiatrist from plastic surgeon. Entire face change. Repeatedly checks like an OCD. Her face in the mirror. She would constantly examine herself on utensil and spoon complaining about spots and blemishes that are not present. She wouldn't change her mind. The diagnosis is body dysmorphic disorder with poor insight or you can say body dysmorphic disorder delusional. Because there was delusional, so some student marked it as antipsychotic. Yes, in delusional, we do anti use antipsychotic but not as a monotherapy. If it is delusional, the best answer according to me would have been SSRA plus antipsychotic. But since both of them are given as different options, Remember, body dysmorphic disorder is actually a neurotic disorder. It comes under OCD and related disorders. So the first line of treatment mentioned in book for body dysmorphic disorder is SSRI. If it is BDD delusional, when the person has false firm fixed belief, we give SSRI plus antipsychotic. So alone monotherapy antipsychotic we are not using. We are using SSRI plus antipsychotics. Some students got confused and marked antipsychotic. The correct answer is SSRI. ADSD in childhood persisting in adolescence. You know, we know that ODD persists to conduct. We know that ADHD converts into attention deficit disorder in adults because hyperactivity is not manifest. ADHD are also more prone to conduct and also more prone to substance use disorder. Some students kind of 
answered it by ruling out adhd is so hyperactive he can't be mute adhd can't be having any separation anxiety because it's so much uh, you know extrovert kind of a person binge eating disorder has nothing to do with adhd so adhd is a rebel uh, is more likely to convert into a rebellious adolescent that is conduct disorder it is directly mentioned in kaplan textbook psychiatry a girl with a history of loss of consciousness only in front of family members secondary gain to gain attendance attention only in the daytime never in the night time seizure ruled out patient recall recall means no amnesia so it is pseudo seizure no tongue bite no fecal incontinence we are dealing with a case of pseudo seizure or conversion disorder in conversion disorder nowadays aversive therapy is not allowed so we are doing behavioral intervention behavioral therapy some student thought it as seizure and marked valproate no it is a pseudo seizure it is not a seizure it is a pseudo seizure first line of treatment is behavioral therapy although the best is psychodynamic therapy resolution of the unconscious conflict but the first line of treatment is always behavioral therapy removing the attendance is also a part of the behavioral therapy because it is decreasing the secondary gain a mother reported that her girl has ingested a substance of unknown dose and unknown form tachycardia hypertension midriasis paranoia so he has probably the girl has sympathomimetic substance which increases norepinephrine paranoia means increases dopamine increases norepinephrine increases dopamine goes towards cocaine cocaine can cause paranoia cocaine can cause midriasis cocaine can cause tachycardia and cocaine can cause hypertension heroin and morphine both cause meiosis not midriasis pupillary constriction okay tachycardia hypertension paranoia is suggestive of cocaine overdose sixth and the last question of afternoon road traffic accident symptom of tremor irritability and confusion history of consuming alcohol daily which of the following is used to avoid the withdrawal symptom avoid the withdrawal symptoms come on it is a case of alcohol withdrawal for which treatment and prevention both is benzodiazepine lorazepam we don't use ssri here we don't use bupropion for smoking cessation we don't use fomipizol here for prevention and treatment of withdrawal symptom both of the cases we use the drug called benzodiazepine these are 5 plus 6 11 questions there was one more question discussed by pharmacology people ssri sertraline toxicity along with some mao inhibitor some tca what is the antidote of choice for serotonin syndrome i don't have all the options but i'm sure it is discussed by pharmacology people ciproheptadine just for the sake of one liner remember certain intoxicity ciproheptadine so these were about the neat pg question wish you all the best for results if you have any query please get back to me i'll be happy to answer them thank you